no. Just no. I, I can't do this to my viewers, I can't do this to myself. Even if this area does have disconcerting enough music for it, I cannot do a virtual boy palette. So, let's go with something like this instead. It still caters to those who wanted a more red-shaded palette without being quite as eye-bleeding as the Virtual Boy. Though I did specifically have requests for that anyway. With this palette, I was trying to reference the other world from Silent Hill, the whole blood and rust look. I'm not 100% sure I'm happy with this palette overall, but it's what I was going for. It's the thought that counts. So, we're going to be dealing with a lot of Gamma Metroids today. And that also means we're probably going to be taking a lot of damage today. Because those things are still kind of a pain. This is a rather large area overall. And here we have another of those small back and forth enemy types, the TPO. I'm not sure what, if anything, that's supposed to stand for. I haven't seen it said, anyway. For now, we need to get to the top of the shaft. It really seems like there should be something to the right, but there's not. Instead, we come up to this room with a bunch of lattice work and something hidden inside. The lattice will actually stop your missiles, so clear out a bit of a fighting space here. And there we go. But we're not quite done in this room just yet. We need to come up here. And we go down the shell. And over here, we have another Gamma. I'm gonna let you park yourself right there while I clear out a fighting space. Get out of my house! Yeah, that one's kind of a pain. But that's all we have to do in here. So, back down we go. No, I don't want to go quite that far down, thank you. We need to go over here now. Nothing in here. The earlier room can trick you. The lower path is absolutely nothing. Nothing in this shaft, either. We just need to get all the way down to the bottom. This shaft, however... We actually have to fight a Metroid here. Which, due to the more vertical-oriented room, is rather awkward. It's not all bad news, though. There's a life recharge station in here. Just need to get this out of the way. And there we go. Very nice. So back up we go. While we're making this trip, I can go ahead and point something out that I didn't know before. The Varia in this game actually speeds up Samus's running speed. I never noticed this. It's a small difference, but it is definitely there. And we have another back-and-forth enemy type, the Meboid. Again, pretty much the same as all of these sorts of things, just a small target. And another Gamma. Let's see if I can lure you down here. Somewhat more manageable. Back out we go. Just want to get rid of all this stuff.
Hidden Brambles. Yeah, the wave beam is really not good for smaller targets. A bit unfortunate, that. And another one. This strategy does seem to work. Certainly not flawless by any means. But it's at least something. And now Samus performs a magic trick and comes through a one-way passage that's spikes going the other way. Sure, okay. Makes total sense. But we're back in the first passage we were in for this area. That's the passage that leads to the save point we used. So this time we're going to go all the way to the top. And we're all tanked up on energy again. We'll just go through here. And here we have another of the nest type enemies, Yume. much the same as the Gaurons from earlier, even the same drop. So let's just go through here. Shooting our way down here, we actually have a missile recharge station. It's about time. So for those wondering, that's our current cap, 170. Here we have the Gravit. It hides underground and then comes out when you get closer. Funny thing, though. The wave beam can take them out while they're still underground. So, up we go. That's just kind of funny to me. So now we need to go down here. Coming up here, we get, if I can hit this blasted thing, the Space Jump. One of my absolute favorite Metroid items. With the Space Jump, as long as you're doing flipping jumps, if you hit the jump again as you start your descent, you can jump again. It's a great exploration tool and oh so fun. But that's all that was in there. But yeah, without the space jump, we couldn't get past this. It can be a little bit finicky sometimes. You kind of have to get used to the rhythm for it. But it's still just really fun. We're going to pass by this for the moment. And instead go down this way. There's another new enemy there, but we'll talk about it when it's more relevant after we deal with things in here. Another Gamma. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So back up we go. And right through here again. So yes, this new enemy type. Much like Septog, it's completely harmless. These are called Proboscum. They just give you a platform to jump off of. They mean to help, but the fact that they keep dropping out of place can be a little annoying sometimes. Oh, stop it. A bit tricky, but we need to come over here. 
In here, we find another energy tank. Lovely. And we can also go down and around here in order to get that missile pack that we saw earlier. So let's just get out of here. And make our way back out of here. And right down here. Some sand to get out of the way. And another missile pack. Yeah, some of the sand is solid. But with that, we have another save point. So time for another refreshing pause. Back in a moment. So for those who fancy a purple palette, welcome to Lavender Town. I did have to tweak the bluish-gray color a bit. I needed to darken it so that I could use it for outlines, but overall I think this palette looks rather nice. Alright, so this part of the game does get a bit complicated. There's a lot of back and forth we're going to have to do here. Coming in here, we get the Spazer Beam. This one's fairly nice overall. It fires a wide pattern of shots, so it's rather easy to hit enemies with this. Since you fire multiple shots at once, it still does decent damage, and it still goes through walls and ceilings. The main drawback, though, is you do sacrifice the Wave Beam's armor-piercing capabilities. And we have a Metroid in here. Hi there. This is not really a good room for fighting a Gamma Metroid, so you kind of want to lure it down to the bottom so that you've got more room to fight it. You can kind of trap it in the corner here if you're lucky. There we go. Otherwise, this fight's kind of a pain. I mean, do you really want to have to fight a Gamma Metroid on all these tiny platforms? I sure don't. So let's bomb our way in here. And we get missiles. And now all the way back down. And through the sand floor. Here you can either go left or right. I prefer to start by going left. And we have another gamma. Let's see if I can lure you over here. No, up here. Oh, that's bad. That is very, very bad. That almost went very pear-shaped. So we'll just continue on this way. we're going to go ahead and ditch the Spazer. Time for the Plasma Beam. We'll probably play around with the Spazer Beam a bit later on. The Plasma Beam still goes through walls and ceilings, but it's far more focused fire. So it can be a little bit trickier to hit enemies, but it's also the strongest beam in the game. So if you do hit with this, it's going to do a lot of damage. It also goes through destructible terrain, like a hot knife through butter. And we got some more missiles there. So, moving on. This is a bit hectic. You cannot just land on the sides of these spikes, even if it looks like you should be able to. I have been told there is a glitch that lets you just jump straight up with the space jump, but I don't know how to make that work. Here we have Autom. It's a bit of a pain. It's completely invincible to your attacks, and it has little rhyme or reason as to when it'll strike. The other enemy there was Shirk. We'll probably see it more later on, 
It has the same attack patterns as the Senju that we saw earlier. I really don't know how to predict those things. This room always makes me nervous. Thankfully, the Automs don't do a lot of damage overall. But I still feel like I have to be missing something with them. Oh, hi there. Been a while since we've just seen an Alpha. But there we go. 